Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video vlog. Now it's been a bit of a slow week in the jungle with a, quite a bit of rain recently. So this week we've decided to profile a group of animals that don't have a backbone. And no, I'm not talking about politicians discussing Brexit. I'm talking about invertebrates. It's estimated there's over two and a half million species of invertebrates in the Amazon rainforest. However, this number changes nearly every month because new species are constantly being discovered and classified. Unfortunately, the amount of research that has been conducted in invertebrates lags far behind other groups such as birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians, which have historically received more attention in the Amazon rainforest. Of course, the first group of invertebrates most people will see when they enter the rainforest are ants. These incredibly hard-working animals actually make up at least as much biomass as humans across the world, if not more. The Amazon is home to numerous species of ants, including the well-known leafcutter ants. These ants harvest these leaves to farm fungus, which in turn feeds their larvae. Of course, another well-known ant found in the rainforest is the bullet ant. The bullet ant possesses a very powerful sting, which can cause intense swelling and extreme pain. However, most ants here are completely harmless and actually possess incredibly fascinating life histories, such as this species which creates a nest with carefully crafted channels to divert the water away from the nest openings. Termites, such as this species, which we affectionately refer to as the headbangers, are another group that make up a huge amount of biomass in the Amazon. Many people are surprised to discover that these large nests on the side of trees are actually from termites. A lot of work and dedication goes into creating these impressive structures. Now, without question, the group of invertebrates that generates the most fear and is the most misunderstood are arachnids. Here you can see our invertebrate coordinator, Judith, attempting to lure a tarantula out of its den. And after a little bit of coaxing, it decided to cooperate. Some of the tarantula species here are truly massive and capable of eating vertebrates, such as rodents, small possums, and birds. However, just because they're large, it doesn't mean they're aggressive. In fact, often just seeing these incredible creatures is difficult. Walking near their den will often cause them to retreat rapidly back into their burrow. These gentle arachnids are attentive parents and will rarely bite unless aggressively provoked. However, there is one spider here that is known to possess a bit more of a temper. The wandering spider does not back down when provoked, instead showing its very obvious red mandibles and yellow stripes on its forelimbs. This species possesses a potent venom that will cause extreme swelling and pain, and in very rare cases has been known to cause death. However, the majority of spiders in this area are significantly less aggressive and not dangerous at all, as long as you leave them alone. Of course, the rainforest is also home to some incredibly large insects, such as this harlequin longhorn beetle, which decided to keep Judith company one day while she was entering data into the computer. Invertebrates here in the Amazon can be found in a wide range of colors, shapes, and sizes, and perhaps no group better showcases that than the leaf mimic katydids. Of course, this camouflage is necessary because there is an equally large group of predators attempting to eat them. These predators include some very interesting and large praying mantises. As harmless as they may seem, you definitely don't want to touch butterfly or moth caterpillars here in the Amazon. They possess hairs that are highly irritating to the skin and in some cases can cause burns similar to second degree burns from fire. Thankfully, most of these caterpillars also possess bright and beautiful colors, making it relatively easy to avoid these dangerous but beautiful creatures. When these caterpillars metamorphosize, they reveal a stunning variety of moths and butterflies. Moths in particular have been understudied in the Amazon, and they possess an incredible amount of biodiversity. It's possible for more than a thousand species to occupy an area the size of 100 hectares. As amazing as moths are, when it comes to stunning colors, nothing beats butterflies. The Amazon is home to some truly breathtaking butterflies that are relatively well known, such as this 88 butterfly, and of course the morpho butterflies. The morpho butterflies have markings that mimic an owl's eye on the underside of their wing, but then possess stunning fluorescent blue on the top side of their wings. Invertebrate diversity and biomass can act as an indicator of the overall health of the ecosystem. Previous Fauna Forever research has focused on the relationship between dung beetle biomass and large mammal biomass. And moving forward, we will be expanding our programs to also focus on aquatic invertebrates as an indicator for water pollution. 
Although working with invertebrates isn't for everyone, thankfully for us, we have Judith, who completed her PhD in the research of aquatic invertebrates. And she feels right at home getting down and dirty working with this vital and misunderstood group of animals. Well, that's it for this week's video blog. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're interested in joining the Invertebrate Research team, check us out at www.faunaforever.org. See you again next week.